good morning guys i literally cannot believe what i'm about to do like oh i can't believe i can't believe i can't believe it i'm getting a puppy i'm getting a puppy oh my gosh um i've been literally annoying everyone around me for the past two weeks because i'm getting a puppy i've wanted one for like almost three years basically the whole time i've been in vietnam i've really not even wanted i've needed this puppy and it just happens to be the right time with everything that's going on in the world but guys i'm getting a puppy and i need to hurry up because i'm going to pick him up from the train station i'm gonna explain a little bit more when i actually collect him because i'm in vietnam so it's not as easy as just going and getting a puppy um i'm gonna explain to you guys when i get back and when you meet him it's a boy ah! i'm gonna tell you his breed and tell you his name in a little bit but yeah guys <laughs> but guys stay tuned you're gonna love him trust me you're going to fall in love i'm so excited like i'm literally shaking <sighs> okay see you guys soon vlog and told you guys that I was getting a puppy and this is him he's very very playful right now this is Cash everyone he's so cute and so tiny I love him he's so well behaved like so 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 well behaved okay so I don't really know where to start um, move that out of the way i don't know where to start guys i'm just so in love i've posted him already on instagram um i've actually made an instagram account for him which is um tiny toy cash i'll put it here and down in the description box i'm really sorry if you guys can hear um some light like, breeze it's my fan in the background but anyway this is my baby cash and he is a tiny toy poodle um, he's really really small so he's actually not a teacup so teacups are the tiniest size but he's basically a little bit smaller than um, a toy a tiny toy poodle and then a little bit bigger than a teacup poodle so I'm just gonna call him a tiny toy because I think he's I think he's a little bit bigger than a teacup. He literally only weighs um, like 600 grams, which isn't even one kg. One of the reasons why I chose um, a poodle or toy poodle is because he doesn't shed. So he's hyperallergenic, I think that's what it's called. Um, yeah, so his hair doesn't shed. So it's really good for people who have allergies and I don't want to be cleaning up hair all the time. And he's so small as well, so he's definitely not going to shed. Um, yeah, I'm so in love. So um, I'm going to start from the beginning. So I'm in Vietnam, if you haven't been following my journey already. And if you've ever been here or travelled here, you'll literally know that poodles, toy poodles are everywhere. Like when I say everywhere, everywhere, you'll always see them, especially in Ho Chi Minh and um, Hanoi in the capital. They are everywhere. I actually bought him um, and I did look into um, adopting but because I knew I wanted a tiny toy there weren't any available so I actually did buy him maybe in the future when I have my own family um, I will adopt but yeah so I bought him and this little guy is so brave so I bought him and he was delivered to me from Hanoi from the capital I did a lot of research on this pet shop and I've just seen how like they take care of their animals and just like I just did as much research as I could and the guy it, the guy did check out he gave me all of his medical records he's been vaccinated oh yeah he is 11 weeks old um, yeah so he's had one of his he's had one shot so far um, and he's due for another one but because of the coronavirus I'm gonna wait a few days um so he can get his second shots um yeah so yeah that's that he's 11 weeks old no here here don't bite my finger um he literally has no teeth but i don't want him to get into the habit of like biting so he has a lot of toys um 
but he seems to like biting this one. But I think because my fingers are right here, so he's just going to keep trying to bite my fingers. Anyway, um, so yeah, like I said, I've been here in Vietnam for the past three years and I've been obsessed because I always see them and I always knew I wanted to get one, but I wasn't sure when. Um, and this just seems like, well, this period, especially because we're all self-isolated, it seemed like the perfect time to get, um, to get him because I've been super lonely and dealing with a lot at the moment so I just needed someone or something and he's so so perfect. I'm gonna insert some footage here of what we've been up to for the past 12 hours and you guys can come back and I'll tell you some more information. been up to so far and guys when I tell you he is so well behaved it's crazy so I've been doing a lot of research for the past let's say month um, I've been watching all the videos on YouTube and how to train a puppy how to potty train how to crate train and he's oh my god he's so well behaved it's crazy all he does is sleep <laughs> He just sleeps all the time. He doesn't really bark. The only time he really barked, and I wouldn't even call it a bark, it was a bit of a cry, was when um, when I picked him up from the train station. And by the way, guys, because I'm in Vietnam, and obviously I don't speak Vietnamese, my landlord is a lifesaver. <laughs> um, my landlord is a lifesaver. So he helped me actually go and pick him up, which was so, so nice of him. Um, so we went to the train station to go pick him up and then um, he was given over to me and 
it basically if I didn't have my landlord there who speaks Vietnamese I wouldn't have been able to collect him because the train staff and everyone there don't speak English so they just would have been really confused especially now because of the coronavirus so it was quite intense at the station actually um, there were police there and there were people doing like tests to see if anyone had um, to see if anyone had temperatures and literally if you did have a temperature you're going to isolation for two weeks so it's pretty serious right now so I'm really happy that my landlord was there to help me and translate and everything and yeah so that was really good um, what else do I need to say I've literally watched oh yeah I was saying that he was so he's been so so well behaved he literally slept all night he did wake up around um, so from around 9, 10, all the way to 5 a.m., which is crazy. Um, he didn't cry once. Uh, so nervous, I literally kept waking up. So I've actually got my sofa down here and I'm using, ooh, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm actually using my sofa as a sofa bed because I just wanted to be next to him so he didn't feel like um, anxious or anything last night. And yeah, he slept the whole time. I woke up around maybe, um, I woke up a few times, um, as you guys can see, I vlogged it just to check to see if he was okay, see if he was sleeping, just see if he was breathing, but he was perfectly fine. And at one point, maybe around like 1am when I woke up, um, I actually went to my bedroom. I went to my bed to sleep there just to kind of distance myself a little bit just from the beginning so he can get used to it. But I kept the um, curtain open so I could see if he was okay and yeah he was completely fine so and then after that we woke up around 5, 5 30, no he woke up at 5 a.m. and we just played and he literally went back to sleep for an hour and I don't know if this is normal guys I know he's a puppy and I have read that they do sleep a lot but he sleeps a lot he sleeps a lot like he's just like his mom <laughs> so far so good in the night he did wake up and pee on his um puppy pads the training pads which is good he didn't pee in his bed and he has had a few accidents outside of his crate uh he's pooed a few times like three times oh what happened he's pooed three times outside of the crate but now I know when he's gonna do it because he'll literally like be sniffing around and then he poos and I know it. So I try to catch it, or not catch the poo, but <laughs> I try to um, put something down or move him before he does it. Um, but yeah, when it comes to peeing, he's had a few accidents, but um, yeah, he's also peed on his pee pads, which is really good. And um, yeah, for the first day, I think he's done really, really well. I think he's already attached to me, which is really good. <laughs> it's so crazy because he sleeps a lot, but he's such a light sleeper. Um, like if I make a noise, he'll wake up. But I have been playing music and stuff just so he can get used to like loud sounds. And unfortunately, there is construction right next door. so. Um, they do drill and stuff but he doesn't seem to mind it but if he's sleeping he literally will like get up every few minutes and change positions it's so funny I just think he's a bad sleeper like he literally likes moving around and stuff while he's sleeping it's so cute all I do is watch him guys <laughs> it's kind of sad um, but I love him so much he's so so good he's so good I'm so well behaved I was really scared because I watched a lot of videos um, with different breeds of dogs different sizes and loads of people were just saying like it's it could be like really daunting and kind of scary especially um, especially around the like day three day four mark people were saying that they didn't know if they like had made a good decision um, but so far I think guys I think I made an excellent decision and he is so perfect um, yeah I know it's not gonna be easy so and it's just like literally the first 24 hours but I'm in love with him and he literally came at the perfect time because I needed him I needed him 
If you are new to my channel guys, subscribe. I'll literally be uploading so much of him and I'm kind of changing my channel around. So I'll be doing more lifestyle things. So what me and him get up to on a daily basis, um, exercise, uh, exploring Da Nang, exploring Vietnam, exploring Asia and the rest of the world. I will be traveling with him quite a lot and if you don't know already I work from home so I don't think I have any issues with for example having to worry about leaving him for long periods of times. time. I have had to go downstairs a few times to like pick up deliveries and stuff just in one day which is crazy um and well one last night and one this morning and i left him and he was completely fine in his crate he didn't cry like he i don't know he's quite independent but also like really snuggly um yeah it's crazy guys i got so lucky like i got so lucky i just hope he stays like this i hope he stays like this and i'm really gonna um the only thing I would say that I find difficult right now is probably um, the toilet situation. Um, yeah, I need to, really need to train him. <laughs> I'm so obsessed with him, it's crazy. Like, like, sometimes I literally just look at him to see if he's breathing because he's so small. He's so small, so perfect. Oh my god, and I even washed him. So on the first day I washed him just because I was just like, after that long journey, he's probably peed on, him, peed on himself and pooped. So I washed him and guess what? He didn't cry. He was a little bit scared going into the sink at first, but he literally didn't cry, which I was so happy about. Even when I was blow drying him, he was completely fine. And I think uh, because of all the videos I washed, I watched all the videos I watched on YouTube before I got him I was really really scared to wash him because I knew that he was gonna be small I didn't know he was gonna be this small but um, yeah I did watch them and I saw how to wash him try to avoid his ears and stuff just so that he doesn't get an ear infection and yeah I thought I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it on the first day or first night sorry just so that um, the fear will just like go away and i'm so happy i did because now i don't feel scared at all um if you guys have got any tips for a first time pup puppy owner please leave them down below um i would really really appreciate it um yeah i would really really appreciate it and yeah i'm gonna end this vlog here and we will be uploading a lot more so you're definitely gonna see cash on this channel this is basically going to be his channel yeah so yeah the new videos on my channel will be more lifestyle related <laughs> i call him mr sleepyhead anyway guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this vlog i hope it wasn't too long and look out for a lot more say bye say bye 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 guys.